Um. Okay. I guess we're jumping into it. I, I was just trying to uh, get the controller to work for a second. So, the moon goes boom and ha fires a Hadoken at the Earth, which I'm fairly certain should have liquefied the surface of the Earth. I don't know how anything survives this. Well, yeah. The moon goes pop. Yeah, nothing's surviving that. <laughs> That's... Also a very silent line with the camera, with a satellite camera. Nothing lives through that! That liquefies the surface of the planet. Get out of my way. Alright. Uh, so this does have a character creator. Which immediately puts it above a front mission. seems deeply concerned, as he should be, as the planet he's on is a lava ball. Uh, what's our Chico look like? Uh, she looks, she appears just as concerned. We're gonna go with the dude, though. Okay. Hey. Got the man bun. You got... Nah, it's not quite the, uh... Jokesifus Miller. Jesus! You got the... You got the meme. The Jos... The Josuke cut. We're gonna go with, uh, efficiency here. Which reminds me a bit of, a uh, Siphon Filter the Omega Strain. Holy shit! Dear Lord. Sudden Jean-Luc Picard, Mecha Pilot. I have no idea what odd eye means. See, should I go with the uh, full-on beard or should I go with the beaver chin? Kind of want to go with the beard. I think I'll be able to change this, so we'll go. We'll just go with the beard for now. Okay, it really doesn't do anything for the shape. Scar tattoo. Yeah. Oh, that's kind of cool. Got some uh, cyberpunk going on there. What the hell is this? Outer plug suit. Grand da Grand Damon. Um. Ooh, that's nice. Yeah, I like the black. All right. Still adjusting the mic. All right, let's do this.
No, I could miss you. Fuck. Fuck. You cut off the D. You cut off my D. You son of a bitch. I have to redo this now. I have to start a new game. God damn it. No. New game. Yes. How dare you cut off the D. You bastards. I really hope that I get, like, more options for clothes. There we go. My shoulder capes are flipping out. I have the sudden itch urge to shake my fist and shout cryptic. Link accepted. Oh, that's gonna be distracting. Greetings. My name is Four. I am the operator who serves as the liaison between orbital and outers like yourself. You have just recovered from transplant surgery to install your neural link terminal. At this time, your biometric data in the oval link will be updated and registered with orbital. This is your arsenal on loan from orbital. Oh, Before need some we pain. register you as a mercenary, you must complete an aptitude test. Accept the mission from this terminal and await dispatch. Yeah, but first I think I feel this thing needs a coat of paint. Alright, let's see, what do we got? Um Okay, I've got I've got a sprint button. I can run. This thing is uh not very big. How exactly can I climb this thing? Yeah, this thing is actually quite small. Is this meathead gonna fit in there? Holy shit, there's people. Hi. Hi. I'm new here. What's up? What, what is this? You look like a uh, fucking mini Gozer. Uh, access. Access. I have no pet button, I'm sorry. I can't pet you! Exploration missions. Working with other players, you will explore the inner workings of a labyrinthine factory. Reach the arsenals in the depths of the, fa in the facility and defeat them to complete the mission. Exploration missions can vary in difficulty and the layout of the facility and the enemies it contains changes each time you play. Random raids. Gotcha. I know this has like a four-person multiplayer mode. Multiplayer with others. You can enjoy both co-op and versus multiplayer. In rank matches, a player's bounty rating is determined by the results of the match. Players are ranked based on their bounty rating. In other words, it is just as you see, the thing is, I really do not like that. I mean, obviously you have to have some kind of like rating system so you don't have uh, players who are ridiculously uh, experienced uh, ruining the, just ruining the day of everybody who is just starting out the game. Obviously, you, you need some way 
to challenge players who are really good and give players who are not a chance to learn. But more often than not, what would happen uh, is that people would deliberately game the system. They would lose intentionally to lower their ranking so that they would be in lower ranked matches. And then they just annihilate people. So, yeah, I don't really like that. I think it's kind of bullshit. Uh, total play record. Armor log. Put the load out. I take it... There's no way for me to edit my loadout at this moment. Uh, what the hell's back over here? Can I go back this way? Yes, I can. Lab! Enhancing outers in the lab. Your outer can be enhanced at the lab through surgical body modifications. These modifications also enhance your arsenal's abilities. All body modifications can be surgically reversed. Okay, head. Uh, let's see. So we got like a perk based system here. So, outer. Okay, so outer increased grenade stock. So, outer is me. Outer blade. So, I'm going to be on foot for some of this. Okay. What the hell is this? Uh, hanger, there we go. Paint, there we go. Arsenal painting, yes, I know how to paint. Um, color. That looks an awful lot like Stinger's head. From Project Phantasma. In fact... This looks an awful lot like Stinger from Project Phantasma. Why do I have the feeling that you could easily recreate uh, various iconic Armored Core mecha in this game? First, first of all, let's go with the, um... Uh, let's get our colors in. He went to the hospital and he was never heard from again.
Gotta get the colors right. Gotta style on our enemies. That's right. Let's see. Decals. Uh, let's start with the body. Select decal. I have shit for decals. Uh, oh no! There's an edit decal. Okay. What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? Okay, yeah, sure, yeah. All right. Yeah, sure, you betcha. Gross fire, okay. So, you okay? <laughs> okay? That's giving me very Evangel vibes. That reminds me a lot of Evangel from um, Armored Core Nexus. I'm already feeling at home here. Alright, what have I got? Uh, Arsenal loadouts. Okay. Oh boy. Memory usage! Okay, uh, is there a long form X? There we go. Uh, let's see. Stun resistance. Weight. Oh, boy. Memory usage. Okay, I guess memory usage is the new uh, generator capacity for this. Okay. Sight size. Oh, God. What's the FCS gonna what's the FCS analog gonna be like in this game? Radar detection range. This is all very familiar. VP! Not AP, VP! 9780, okay. Flight boost speed, time, let's see, total bullet laser defense. Total defense. Well, it doesn't grade. It doesn't grade me, though. How will I know whether or not my mech is superfly? Uh, processor! All, uh, its memory usage is low, but otherwise has no noteworthy features. Lock on control memory optimization. This is your FCS. Okay. This is your fire control system. Uh, armor weapon switch. Okay. Right weapon. What the hell is this? Assault rifle. Economical assault rifle. It holds enough ammo to be useful in a variety of situations. It's a piece of shit. It gets sold immediately. Almost immediately. Knockdown defense, durability, defense, 
lightweight and easy to carry. I can carry two shields! Yeah! I, I got... I got two shields! Oh, wait. I can make... Oh, shit! I can... I can I, I can make this um I can oh, I can pose it That looks so weird. Yeah <laughs> I got two shields, what you gonna do now? I'm gonna beat the shit out of you with these Oh come at me <laughs> I think we found our thumbnail for this playthrough. Save that shit! Oh my god! I haven't even gone on a mission yet, and it's already great. It's still posing! What the shit?! What are you doing, sir?! God. Yep. Yep. Okay. Test arsenal performance. Yeah, let's 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 how to control mech. Yes. Uh tell me AI targets appear automatically for the pause menu. You can set ammo and femto. Wait, femto femto? What the fuck is a femto? I, I... I stand on my tippy toes. Okay, so I can enable boost. Okay, so... Okay, walk, I can do that, I can jump. And then I am in the air. Yeah, it's got the unsatisfying pat 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 that uh, Armored Core 4 and 5 have. Like, I remember, um, Armored Core 2's rifles sounding like BOOM 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 whenever they fired. But now, now we got... Eh! 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 Oh, shit! I'm being shot at! Bang, bang, bang! Okay, 
Okay, quick. Dodge! Dodge! Okay, I have a dodge button. The dodge button works. Okay, very... Okay, as long as I keep him in my FCS sphere here, I'm going to target him. Gotcha. Uh, this Grim Reaper doesn't really seem to be doing fuck all. Okay, he's dead. Oh, I can punch! I'm gonna punch the shit out of people. That's probably bad. Yeah! I'm gonna punch the shit out of things! Oh! Okay, so I take it radar spike means they got a lock on me. Doesn't look like I can manually reload. Okay. So we got two modes that we're dealing with here. We got skate which is your basic mood. I can skate, I can glide, and I don't consume stamina, which is the energy meter now. But then I got a quick quick boost button that speeds me up, and that's what consumes the stamina, okay. So, you are no longer, if you run out of stamina, or if you're low on stamina, you are no longer completely screwed. That's nice. I like that. Now if only I had a fucking rock like missile launcher. Woo! Ow. I'm a puncher. No, get over here. Get over here. I want to punch you. Son of a bitch. Okay. I need to see something. Oh shit. Oh, is that him? I have no idea if that hit him. Ah! Yeah. 
Owie. Owie! I'm gonna fucking... Am I dead? I can't see me. Look. I just wanna punch you! See? Was that so hard? Okay. Now, all of you fuck off. I need to check something. Is the most important part of Armored Core 5 here? No. I can't wall jump. I mean, fair enough. That, that's fair enough. I can just, like, boost straight up. But still, I want a wall jump. It's the one thing I missed from Armored Core 5. Alright. Let's actually do a mission. Let's, let's actually do a mission here. Accepting an offer mission will advance the main story. Select a mission and dispatch. Okay, we got no free missions. I'm assuming the free missions are the grunt work missions that you spend most of the early game of an Armored Core title doing. Hopefully these aren't timed like Armored Core 4, because that would be real fucking annoying if it was. Cause I, that's the thing that flat out sealed the deal for me in hating Armored Core 4 is the timer. Uh, orbital distortion with split steps, two tests to determine outer fitness. Your Raven exam. Uh, partners cannot be requested for this mission. Ooh, we get consorts. Nice. Obviously, you can't select a consort for your, um, Raven exam. Although, maybe, maybe, maybe we'll have an Apple Boy here. Welcome to your battlefield, okay. Whatever. Initiating arsenal boot sequence. Data link, normal. Generator pool, normal. Energy linear released. Electromagnetic armor operating at normal levels. Weapon safety mechanism released. All systems normal. Commencing launch. Weight directly affects your arsenal's movement speed and its recovery time when landing. The outer aptitude test will begin soon. This is a live fire exercise, but you have nothing to worry about. Huh. <laughs> Say again? Hardly anyone fails this test. Two veteran mercenaries will serve as observers during the test. This is Reaper of the Western Seven. I'll be joining you as an observer. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna fight you later on, aren't I? And I'm Queen of Panzer Crown. Charmed, I'm sure. Yeah, I'd be fighting them. Observers for the aptitude test are selected at random from a pool of qualified mercenaries. They're here to make sure the test is conducted fairly, and to intervene if your life is threatened. What Four said, if things get dicey, just ask us for help. That said, don't expect to pass if you nearly really die out here. When do I get to make my own emblem? For Oval, and the world as a whole, Alders like yourself are among our most valuable resources. However, if the cost of your arsenal repairs consistently exceeds the profit you generate, your value may be reassessed. Yeah, if you go negative 50,000 in the red in any of the old Armored Core games, you lose, sir! Or you get upgraded with Human Plus. We get it. Let's get this over with already. Like Four said, hardly anyone fails this test. If you're not sure what to do, prioritize your survival. Just trust your instincts and you'll pass with flying colors. We will now begin the aptitude test. Alright. Please direct your attention to your radar. 
The aptitude test will begin once you cross the blue boundary. Move out and proceed to the designated coordinates as instructed. Alright, let's... See, arsenal outer player, allies blue, enemy units are red, mission objectives are yellow. Arsenal wreckage. Hidden parts show up on my radar? Is that what that is? And a missile display, okay. Ammo, residual femto, recovery tank, femto zone. What the fuck is femto? Uh, let's see. Move. Let's see. Descend. Yeah, I figured that out. Okay, if you're on a stamina, you're screwed. You're a sitting duck. Gotcha. Uh, let's see. Aim with right stick. Press RT. Yeah. A blue cursor means you're locked on. A red cursor means... Indicates your primary target. Alright. Use shoulder weapon. Use auxiliary weapon. Oh, this is very armored core. After displaying an arm weapon swap menu, select a weapon you want to replace. Right arm, left arm, right pylon, left pylon. You have arrived at the designated coordinates. The aptitude test will now begin. The next phase will begin shortly. Initiating mock battle sequence. Destroy all enemy AIs. The vital points phase will deplete as you receive damage from enemies. Vital this phase represents your arsenal's durability. Should it fall to zero, the test will end. To lock onto an enemy, align the sights in the center of your monitor over the target. Once locked on, you may fire. Your arsenal's OS will correct for any minor lapses in firearm accuracy. Use your boost ability I'll pick to avoid up. Sorry, that's fire, new. and to get within range to return fire. So it's not worth shooting until you see the cursor. Gotcha. Processing. Designated enemy AIs have been detected by your radar. Destroy them at once. Can I just run into you? No. Oh, yes! I can pick things up! Oh, that's gonna come in handy. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw one of these at you. I'm... Where are you? Yeah! Very, very nice. So, I was always a high flyer in Armored Core, so... I imagine th this feels like home to me here. I am flying in the sky in a mech that is not made of plasticine. So this is already better than Armored Core 4. Just right off the bat. Good work. Get some rest before you tackle your next assignment. You should get your test results right away. See you around on the battlefield. Aptitude test complete. You have passed. Congratulations. Your arsenal link key has been received. 
You are hereby recognized by Orbital and the Consortiums as a registered mercenary. From now on, you will help us work toward world peace by completing assigned missions. Thank you for your service. Mm, mm, mm. I step on my tippy toes. So Orbital is the Raven's Ark and the Consortiums are the Corporations. Oh, I, get, I have time to like scramble to find shit, okay. So does Femto drain stamina? Is that what it does? What the fuck is Femto? What the hell are you? Your feet you scan. Oh, I get. Okay, that's cool. I can. Is that how you unlock emblems in this game? Is you find graffiti in the world and you scan it? Because that's fucking lit, if that's true. This game is already better than Armored Core 4. Like, ten times. TEN TIMES! Scan graffiti. Yes! Scan graffiti can be obtained as a decal. Yes! I like that. You're encouraging me to look around the environments that you have handcrafted. That is always a good idea.